Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. Barcelona 2, Man United 2. What a game of football that was. I mean, that was an unbelievable game between the Reds and Barcelona with two teams set to do it all again, all over again uh, in seven days' time. I believe the second leg in seven days' time. Barcelona took the lead through uh, Marco Alonso as he headed home. Rafinha's corner uh, for five minutes into the second half. But Eric Ten Hag's side definitely showed great credit and great uh, coming back. I mean, I cannot imagine how this team has improved significantly. We used to we used to just collapse every time we concede uh, goals and big games. We used to collapse, but Eric Ten Hag has done something different here, and this team is staying strong, and they are staying together, uh, and it's a huge, huge improvement from 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 this team. Marcus Rashford, of course, got on the score sheet. Uh, he did score that equalizer. And then uh, Julius Kunde, actually, uh, who turns the ball through his own net. That is a clear own goal by Kunde. Rafinha then grabbed the leveler with just under 15 minutes to go with what could only be described as one of the best games in Europe. I think it's been an outstanding game of match. Would I have taken a draw from the beginning? I would have taken a draw. I would have taken 2-2 two, two, or 1-1. One, one. If you actually watch, uh, haven't watched the, the preview I did, I think I did predict that this game will finish 1-1 one, one or 2-2 two, two and uh, ended up being a draw. I thought a draw was not a bad result. We're coming to a Barcelona a team that is in form. They haven't lost a game in 16 matches. So it's not easy to come here and get a result. And we've done that. A draw is a is, is a solid result in my opinion uh, it's a sign of united that we we tend to see a lot of as of late i mean that resilient side and that knowing uh knowing how to stay in the game and knowing how to basically strong as a team and not collapse like i like i mentioned earlier it's a tough place to come and to get a result like this i think uh, it's a good one and I, we could have won it. We could have won this game as well. We could have won it, but you could also say the same thing about Barcelona. Barcelona could have won this game as well. Um, even though Barcelona were good, I think United had uh, the best of chances in this match. There were times in the uh, first half where we gave them uh, the ball too easily, but I thought we deserved the point and more maybe. I think a draw is is probably a fair result in my opinion you could say it's a fair result but we cannot talk about marcus rashford here i mean marcus rashford this guy has been hot hot form i mean this guy has been flying he has scored 22 goals for man united in all competition this season equaling uh, his best return in a single campaign also 22 and back in 2020, uh, 2019 and 2020, this is just electric performance by Marcus Rashford. Um, it was a brilliant night. I mean, it was absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's what you would expect from these two teams attacking football. This is what we want to see. Like back in the days, we did win the Europa League by defending under Jose Mourinho. But this this Man United team is not that conservative. We're playing uh, free attacking football. Did we sit behind the ball just a little bit in this match? We probably did, but always trying to go on the counter and score and try to create problems for uh, Barcelona. Um, to come to Barcelona and get a draw, guys, I repeat, it's not an easy task. And it puts Manchester United in a fantastic position ahead of next week. Uh, next week. I think now we are going to but uh, we are going to advance in the second round. I think we can, at Old Trafford, we take them back home and we could win at home. I think I think <clears throat> we're going to have Anthony back by then. Eriksen probably could be back. Uh, Martinez and Sabatzer, these two, these two players are going to be back as well. So we've had a lot of players missing. Uh, they they're not gonna they're not gonna have Gavi in the second leg. They're gonna miss him big time. I think he's gonna be a big miss for them. Maybe Busquets and Dembele could return for Barcelona as well. But 
Really, really looking forward to that uh, second leg uh, coming up. Let me just quickly show you guys the uh, the stats before I wrap up here. So looking at the stats and in terms of ball possession and everything, uh, they, they had 60% ball possession in this match. 60% ball possession. Um, we've had 39% total shots, 18 to 18. It's pretty much even. Like I said, it's probably an even game uh, in terms of chance uh, creation and total shots. But I thought we had the most, uh, the clearest chances out of those two teams. I thought Rashford had one. Wick Holst, uh, one on one with the goalkeeper. He missed that chance. Uh, I remember Sancho, I mean, Rashford had another chance as well. So we've had plenty of chances. We've, have, we've had plenty of chances in this match. Uh, and Barcelona, of course, did hit the post late on. They, they could have won this game. They could have won this game. They did hit the post. So all in all, I think it was about a fair result, in my opinion. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, I would have taken a draw. Uh, man of the match. So man of the match, who would you give it to, guys? Let me know in the comment section who you think is man of the match in this one. I thought, um, I thought Casemiro did well. Uh, Marcus Rashford, of course, did score in this match. He was threatening. Uh, I would give it to Marcus Rashford. What do you guys? What do you guys think? I think Marcus Rashford deserves it uh, because of his form. I mean, he's constantly carrying this attacking force. This United team is now scoring a lot of goals from other players. You're looking at everybody else. But we're not getting a lot of goals. Yes, Garnacho comes in from the bench and scores here or there sometimes but he's not consistent he's not consistent like Marcus Rashford we're missing Martial uh big time in this team and he's a he, he's a big miss and Rashford is the only player that is actually carrying this team at this moment in time so big big um big big shout out for Marcus Rashford for carrying this team and putting us Putting us in competition and every competition he has been delivering time after time after time. But yeah, guys, do let me know in the comment section who you think is a man of the match. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Smash a like on the video as well. And uh, that is it, people. We go. We go again now. We go again in the weekend. We do have Leicester City coming up. Uh, I mean, uh, Newcastle United in the final uh, Carabao Cup. I'm looking forward to that one as well. I'm looking forward to that one. And also looking forward to this second leg. I'm really confident that we could advance to the next round. But thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.